let's learn how to put anything in a circle in Illustrator in this super simple tutorial. So on the canvas I have my artwork here and this is what I want to put inside a circle. So first things first, select all the graphics you want to put into the circle with selection tool, right click and group them together. Now let's make an ellipse. So I'm going to have a fill color and no stroke, so just come down to your bottom just to double check you've got your fill on and your stroke off, then come to your ellipse tool. Let's click and drag out an ellipse and hold shift to keep it a perfect ellipse. Release, select it with selection tool, and let's center align this using the align panel. Align to artboard and let's horizontal and vertical center. I'm going to change the color of this ellipse too so that it doesn't clash with the artwork, so let's just select an orange, collapse swatches, Select this group layer, right click, arrange, and bring to front. And we'll just place this over the top of the ellipse here. And let's make this a touch smaller so more of it fits inside the circle. So now we need to create a clipping mask. So let's select the ellipse at the bottom, edit, copy, edit, paste in place. And I'm going to make this ellipse a different color to the back ellipse just so we can tell the difference. So let's just come to swatches and we'll just select a blue for now. So this is now my clipping mask. So select it with selection tool. Hold shift, select the artwork underneath that we want to put into the clipping mask, and with the two selected, object, clipping mask, and make. And now you can see the artwork is clipped inside the clipping mask. If we use a selection tool and we double click, we can now go inside the clipped group and we can make changes in here. So as you can see, I can move the artwork around. It stays within the parameters of the clipping mask. And once I'm happy then, I can come up to my top left, click layer one, and then click back to come out. Now what if I want the artwork to be clipped at the bottom but come in front of the ellipse on the top? So if I double click to go back in, if I select the group, now you can see at the bottom this is clipped. What if I want to bring this up over the top of the ellipse so it looks like it's coming outside of the ellipse? Let's come out, so go to layer one and click to go back. Select the clipping mask and object clipping mask and let's release it. Select the clipping mask ellipse that's on top I'm going to add a color to this just so we can see where it is. So let's return this to blue, bring back my line panel, hold shift and select the orange ellipse and let's just align this using the key object. So select the back ellipse and we'll align horizontal and vertical. Now come to my rectangle tool. So I'm going to click and drag a rectangle over this ellipse in line with the edge of the ellipse and up over the top, release, come to selection tool. So with this selected, I'm then gonna hold shift, select the ellipse. So now this is going to become my clipping mask. It's more of a shield shape. Come to my Pathfinder tool, which can be found window Pathfinder. And I'm going to unite the shape, but hold Alt and then unite. What that will do is create a new shape, but it will keep the structure of the original shapes. So if I click onto the canvas, select this new shape, you can see now this is my new clipping mask. So Command or Control C to go back. Let's bring the opacity down a touch just so we can see what's behind it. And now with selection tool, click and drag over the new shape and the artwork so they're both selected and go to object, clipping mask and make. And now if we double click to go into the clipping mask, I select the artwork, I can click and drag this around and I can also scale this up and I can move it around as much as I like so that it's getting cut off at the bottom but it's appearing over the top of the ellipse. Now because I united the shape but kept the original shapes, I grab my selection tool and I select. You can see now I've still got my square and I've got my circle. So the nice thing is if I want to make changes, I can grab my direct selection tool, I can grab these anchor points here. So click, hold shift, click, and I can click and drag this out. So I can increase the size of the clipping mask at the top, but I keep this curve at the bottom. Again, I can do the same here. So click, hold shift, click, and then click and drag out. So say for example, I had say a tree, so the tree could kind of arch out to the left and the right, but it would stay within the bounds of the ellipse at the bottom. So let's make my final changes, selection tool. Let's grab the artwork and just bring this down a touch. And then once I'm happy then, layer one and click the arrow to come out and I'm back onto the main canvas. And there you have it, that's how to put artwork into a circle the right way in Illustrator. I really hope you found that tutorial helpful and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing and I will see you for the next tutorial.